Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Poulter, and we're gonna have a very interesting discussion today about a topic that many people dismiss, don't believe, or really don't think much about. In fact, I find they don't really think about it sometimes until they go to the person's funeral. And then it's like Hoover Dam opens up and you're standing on the bottom end of it. And what we're gonna talk about today is the father factor, how your father's uh, lazy impacts your career. And it does more than your career. It impacts your relationships, your romance, your partner selection, a lot of things what we do. Because we're all sons and daughters. And this applies as much to men as it does to women. And I want to go over with you just how it works, how it may work in a way that you never thought about it or look at it differently. And none of us are neutral about our dads, not one of us. And I find in my practice, I'm a clinical psychologist in Los Angeles, and I wrote this book a few years ago because I found so many people are in the workplace not understanding, how do, like, what's my dad's influence? I get where my mom is, but where's my dad? And that's what we're going to talk about, different um, fathering styles, attachment styles, uh, your dad's rule book, what that looks like, and also how to go past certain roadblocks in your career and your personal life. So the first question people ask me many times is, what's the father factor? It's the foundation for your career direction. It directs the selection in your emotional, mental development, both consciously and unconsciously. It affects your ability to excel and your ability to develop meaningful personal and professional relationships. Your father's particular parenting style is the template that forms your father factor in your career. There might be some of you listening to this saying, hey, great, Dr. Poulter, that's stuff you're saying is really, really nice, but I've worked on my father issues for the last 30 years. When does it end? You're always evolving. You don't want to devolve, you want to evolve. And this work goes on from the day we came here to the day we leave. And there doesn't come a point where I'm done with my dad. That generally means you haven't finished or it's still evolving. Another thing is, as a man, you're a father to a lot of people as a mentor. And as a woman, you bring in that energy that's okay to trust authority, to trust men to have loving, caring, intimate relationships with men. So the father factor doesn't know gender. It knows relationships and it knows emotion. Men have always been defined by what they do outside the house. Men know that, they've known it since they're little boys. Problem is women now are defined by what they do outside the house and what they do inside the living room. It's a double-edged sword and men are too now. But much of what your dad did outside the house, you knew about it consciously, unconsciously, whether you spoke about it or not, it was in the ether, it was in the air, it was in the room. Some of you may say, my dad's been dead for 20 years. My response is, he's still alive in your heart. And in this life, you have one dad. Now you may have a stepdad or other dads, and they play a role too. But I'm talking about the primary father in your life. And it may not be a biological dad. It could be a father from Marine marriage, but the primary father in your life who had a very big emotional, mental, spiritual impact on your life. That's what we're going to go into.